Uh, hello, my name is Andrew Whitmoyer. I'm a line cook with uh, Bluebeard. Um, I've been there for a year now. I uh, really enjoy it. And I'm also one of the one of the co-partners of Chef's Night Off as well. Um, my dish tonight was a crab cake with a uh, mojito gelée, a artichoke heart remoulade, an old bay granita, and uh, some little microgreens and a carrot top uh, oil. And also uh, my, our dessert was a three part dessert. My part was a uh, chocolate ganache uh, with blood orange infusion, a uh, raspberry sauce, and then a little uh, segment of blood orange on top as well. How's it going? I'm John from Recess. I am opening Milk Tooth this summer with my wife Ashley, a uh, kind of finer dining brunch restaurant downtown in the Place. Uh, tonight at 12 Chefs, I prepared a sauteed calamari and chorizo dish with a little bit of black cocoa dumpling, uh, egg yolk batarga, and snow peas. And for dessert, I made a bleeding heart of palm, which consisted of a white chocolate caramelized cheesecake, um, candied heart of palm, some crispy quinoa, and a cola glazed cherry. Uh, my name is Carlos Salazar. I'm chef co-owner of Brook and also a consultant chef for here at Thunderbird. Um, my dish today was the entree, which was um, pork cheeks, confit pork cheeks with um, kimchi pancakes, and uh, uh, shiitake XO, and um, a carrot and daikon agridu, and then a little drizzle of the fish caramel sauce. And the dessert was, I made a cherry blini with a creme fraiche ice cream and a cherry caviar. RJ Wall, I'm one of the guys who started Chef's Night Off here in Indianapolis. I was one of the original people that did it in Chicago as well. It started with a group of Indiana guys up there. Um, we did it at a restaurant that I ran, and when I moved back here, I had some frustrations with the food scene, and I wasn't, I was kind of trying to figure out where I fit in it. You know, I was trying to figure out what, what can we do to make it better, and I realized that cooks, you know, they just don't cross-pollinate or talk to each other from other restaurants. You know, guys from Bluebeard don't often hang out with guys from Recess, et cetera, et cetera, and we wanted to create a, a creative arena for them to talk and discuss and exchange ideas and work together. And amongst a lot of other things, you know, we want to focus on supporting local businesses, uh, supporting small restaurants. We wanted to showcase all this awesome talent, you know, that granted, you know, a lot of these guys are going to have their own places here sooner than later. But a lot of these people on the next few dinners coming up, you know, don't have their own places or, or don't yet. And they're, we still want to give them a chance to, to creatively express themselves and to show off what they can do. And these are the guys that actually make your food when you go out to eat it at these restaurants. Um, I teamed up with Project Endure. I, I rock climb a lot. And one of the guys I rock climb with is the main volunteer, Chris Nurnberg, that he spoke of earlier. And it just, we wanted to work with a small charity. We didn't want to work with one of these super large charities where our fairly small donation was gonna just get lost in a shuffle of other ones. We wanted to make sure that our dollars really counted and had a big impact. And by going with the smaller places, you get that bigger impact. And you get, uh, you, you just get more bang for your buck. They work on, and Terry didn't go in this completely because he's not a very good public speaker either. Uh, they focus on, on teaching these kids, you know, leadership skills and so that they can go into uh, a life of community service as well. Uh, these kids all are, you know, volunteer heavily. I met one of the guys, one of the kids and his mother at the farmer's market on Saturday, and she just went on and on and on, and was practically in tears, talking about how Project Endure taught her son confidence and all these other life skills that he was lacking, and how he's a straight A student now. And he was making B, B like D's and C's before, uh, and it was it was then when I was really like, I'm super excited that this is who we chose to go with. So, I think that's all I got for you, brother. It's good.